Okay, I wanted to quickly go over add, edit, delete functionality, which is very common things that you would be doing on a website. Uh, I'm going to use our uh, commenting system sample that we've been using. I can add a new comment and add it to my list of comments. Once it's in there, I can click on edit and change whatever I want and save that and then I can also delete it if I do not like it and it is no longer in there. So we're going to take a quick look at, as to how I might do that. Here's my comments page. You can see up at the start we've already talked about a session start which forces them to be logged in in order to do anything. If um, we're not posting anything to this site we'll go ahead and display the form that allows them to enter and comment. And uh, this is not good practice. I guess I should have moved my HTML and my header and my body up to the top. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and move that and move that up to the top. And it's yelling at me because that's not inside HTML. So this is getting to look kind of disorganized and clunky, but hopefully it'll, it will show you what's going on here. Anyway, um, if I'm not, uh, if I am posting, then I'll pull out the name and the comments. And I'll create a new instance of a comments class and I'll insert it. We haven't talked about classes yet, but you can go browse the comments class and figure out what it's doing. Essentially, we're just doing a query we're inserting into the database. Then I'm immediately redirecting or reloading this page. So that's uh, that's what's happening as I load up the page without a post or regardless of whether they're posting or not we're going to just going to retrieve all the comments loop through each row stick it in a table and then I'm printing out edit and delete next to each one uh, with the in the URL string I'm going to append an ID of what's coming out of the row so that would give me the ID for each value in the in the table now as I jump over to edit page, in the edit page, uh, what I'm going to do, including the comments class stuff, I'm going to say uh, basically this is what's going to occur when the page first loads. I'm going to create a new instance of the comments class. Uh, I'm going to show, basically show that particular form for that particular ID. So as I click on edit, it generates this form for me. There's the form fetching, loop, that sort of thing. When I click submit, this page will reload. Notice this is a button save. So if button save is reload and I reload, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what the name, comment, person, ID are, and then I'm going to create an instance of this comments class, and I'm going to update it, and then it will immediately reload the page. Okay, the last one was it delete. So delete.php, all this is going to do is create an instance of the comments class and then call the delete method over there for that particular ID and then uh, reset the page. Um, I guess the other one I didn't look at, oh yeah, we, we looked at save. So um, this one, if I did click something and say post, I'm going to say insert over in the comments class. So as I look briefly at the comments class, if you're not familiar with classes and objects too much, this allows me to just bundle related functions, if you will, together uh, that relate to a particular entity. So all these functions have to do with something in the comments class. In here I've created a simple function called do query, and all it does is connect to the database and execute the query that's passed in. And then the show function, for example, I generate my query and then I call do query. Insert, I create my query again these values are coming from my class data members, then I do the query again. Uh, probably the, and you can see what's happening in the rest of those. The constructor up here, when I create an instance of a comments class, I'm uh, usually going to pass in a name, comment, and a person ID and store those, and that's how they get used later on. That was a quick overview. I'll have to come back and talk about classes later.